With a growing appetite for modern and efficient energy sources, players in the energy sector, which comprises of independent power producers, private participants in the electricity transmission and distribution value chains, have come up with the first ever electricity sector association of Kenya, ASAC. According to George Aluru, the ASAC chairperson, lack of stability in laws, especially around taxation, as well as supporting the current focus on the financial stability of Kenya power, are part of the impediments in the sector that the association intends to address. To galvanize the private sector in the, in the power sector uh, into one, one room, which can also be a counterparty for, for the state. Less than we are consuming, and so we are also importing a lot, uh, particularly from Uganda. And the government invited uh, independent power producers from among the private sector. And that effort has since yielded a lot of uh, dividends. Elsewhere, micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs affected by the pandemic, are set to receive a major boost. This following the launch of the piloting Jijeng and Atala Rebuild Fund business program spearheaded by the mobile lender Atala. The first ever micro, small and medium-sized enterprises rebuild fund According to Ivan Boa, the managing director at Tala, the program seeks to identify and support the most vulnerable businesses and entrepreneurs affected by COVID-19. Kenya's micro, small and medium-sized enterprises contribute approximately 40% of the GDP. The majority of these businesses fall in the informal sectors and are an important source of employment. Meanwhile, Faulu Microfinance Bank has launched a digital banking app dubbed Faulu DigiCash app. The application, according to Apollon Jaroge, the Faulu Bank CEO, will allow its retail and business clientele to access cashless banking from anywhere, anytime. You don't need to come to the bank to apply for a checkbook. All this, uh, the application has all those capabilities. What is also unique about the, 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 the application that we are launching it will allow traders who want to apply for bid bonds to do it from the comfort of their, to be able to do it directly on the phone. So you can do a bid bond, we can do performance bonds on this application. The, the menu option is huge. And finally, investors at the Konza Technopolis have been reassured of reliable power supply for their operations following the ongoing implementation of a 400 kilovolt Kenya electricity transmission company, Ketrako Substation, in the upcoming smart city. Speaking shortly after the meeting, Ketrako Chairperson John Mutambo, Konza Technopolis Development Authority Kodda CEO John Tanui, said work is ongoing to set up a substation that will provide investors with reliable access to competitively priced electricity. Linda Koskei, K24 TV.